Our goal is to understand how the mechanical environment of the brain impacts its development and function. In particular, we want to understand how changes in this environment, under trauma or disease, affect the brain at a physiological and cognitive level. The more we look at this problem, the clearer it becomes that they require the integration of many different disciplines, from clinical practice and physiology all the way to mathematics. That is the motivation behind the International Brain Mechanics and Trauma Lab. I'm only looking at the brain from a macroscopic point of view, like how soft it is or how hard it is, how does it deform, how does it react to forces. We have adapted atomic force microscopy to measure local stiffness distributions at a resolution that is relevant to individual neurons. So I'm using um, mathematical tools that build on computational field theories of mechanics, talking about the interaction of different areas in the brain. One of our interests is in applying mechanics and force on individual neurons um, and to look at the way they fire. We're bringing in clinical examples of patients who have disease. And so this is a rare opportunity to begin to merge clinical experience and uh, pure academia together. We've created a network of scientists dedicated to collaborating across disciplines. It's a way for researchers around the globe to combine their expertise, tools and techniques to study the brain at different levels of complexity and at different scales. In fact, thinking about scale, from the whole brain down to the molecular, gives us a good way of combining all these different sources of knowledge. Computational techniques are commonly used to model the brain as a whole and to help us understand how forces deform the tissue at a large scale. What is more challenging is to scale down this understanding as we zoom in, looking at how individual neurons are deformed by those same forces, and in turn, how the molecular machinery powering the function of the neurons is changed by these external forces. From this small scale perspective, we can start to understand how the propagation of signals is affected. And zooming out, these functional disruptions at the neuronal scale can then be extrapolated to the network and eventually all the way to the entire brain. This approach allows us to identify how physical characteristics influence brain pathology in disease and trauma. At the moment, these multi-scale steps carry an enormous cost, both in research time and computationally. So what we do in the IBM TL is find ways to connect these scales and link directly the physical world with the functional world. This approach opens up the possibility of improving diagnosis, treatment, and the outcomes of complex clinical situations. But this can only be reached by bringing all these disciplines and techniques together under one unique initiative, our lab. <laughs>